Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing the all new Toyota Tacoma. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with this Tacoma. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged 2.4 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 278 horsepower and then 317 pound feet of torque with this particular package. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see how it's raised there on either side. I think that actually looks really cool. And then this one's finished in underground, which is a special paint color for the 24 model year for Toyota. And then we've got the new style of headlights, which look kind of like a miniature version of the Tundra light, even this little accent piece down below. And unlike the Tundra, they did a more normal sized grille compared to the rest of the front fascia of the truck. I think it looks sharp. And then notice the fog lights are actually a lot higher up on the bodywork compared to the Tundra. And then, yeah, this one has like the world's biggest air dam compared to the size of the truck. But putting it all together outside of the air dam, which is obviously a practicality thing, I think it looks pretty cool. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 245, 70, 17 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, silver in coloration. And then we still have independent front suspension here with the Tacoma. And then this is interesting, even on a more kind of like baseline truck, you've got this that's all painted and pops out quite substantially. Tacoma there on the side, and then you can see the mirror cap also body painted. Same thing with the door handles as well. Got your SR5 badge, and then yes, this is a long bed. And then, popping into the rear, you guys can see the whole suspension setup. Here's a better look, kind of pop down below with this new multi-link setup here with the Tacoma, so no leaf springs. And then here is your full side view with this SR5 with the long bed. And then taking a look at the key fob, we have our lock and unlock function. We got the Toyota logo there as well. And then popping in, you guys can see this is dampened. And it looks like this one has the composite bed from the factory. You've got LED lights. And yeah, this is a huge bed. This is more close in size to like a full size pickup truck when it comes to a bed when you go for the long bed Tacoma rather than mid size. I like that it says Tacoma there. That's kind of cool. And then lifting that up, super easy. Very, like way lighter than it used to be. That's, that's a lot better. You can see Tacoma stamped into the tailgate. And then look at these taillights. Again, it's kind of like the Tundra taillights. It just has two instead of three. And then you can see the parking sensors here at the bottom as well. And putting it all together, I mean, even in base form, I think this thing looks pretty good. And look at the exhaust tip there poking out. Taking a look at the door panel, more basic with the material use here. You can see you've got some storage down below. And then here are the seats. I think that's pretty cool with the accenting there, but yeah, cloth seats with this. Oh, and we've got some under seat storage as well, which is nice. Uh, getting in's easy, you got a grab handle. You can kind of just slide across and step up. Yeah, just like most mid-sized pickup trucks, the foot space isn't the best, um, but we've got some cup holders here. Got a little charging port there as well. Uh, and then headroom back here is actually good. Now, take a look at the front door panel. Again, you can see more basic with material use, but it is padded where you're gonna rest your arm. That's a pretty cool trim piece. All of our window controls here, you've got your mirror adjustments, and you can see all the storage throughout. And then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. And then payload on this one is 1,200 pounds. So, I mean, that's good for a Tacoma, to be frank. And then, look at the seats here. Again, with that cool cloth trim design. And it looks like it's partially power, partially manual, the adjustment. And you can see here for like the stability control, and then you've got that for the steering wheel adjustment. So I just realized that function that's power is the lumbar after pressing it. I feel stupid. And anyways, let's go to the steering wheel. Uh, really cool design, just like what you have in the new Tundra. I mean, this looks like pretty much a carbon copy. So you got like your volume controls, controls for the center stack, adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist and all of that. And then we've got a regular stocks here in the back. And then we've got this digital gauge cluster here in the center. I like how it has little side tabs there, but you can see different bits of info on the truck, pretty standard stuff. And then there is the ECT power still, and you press that and it says power. <laughs> it's kind of cool. 
And then in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines to turn off the steering wheel, just like the new Tundra, super good resolution. And then infotainment system, just Toyota's newer unit. You've seen this in a bunch of my other reviews if you watch any of them. Uh, so good response time. You've got a volume control there and it looks like there's space for a bigger unit perhaps. And then this one just has single zone climate, but we do have heated seats and I actually like the controls here with the climate system. I think that it's pretty cool with just the uh, buttons and everything. I don't know, it just feels cool. And also heated steering wheel, it's nice. Got a wireless phone charging pad there. And then you can see more charging ports. You got like this grab handle here on the side for the passenger. Got your shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. And then you got our parking brake here with our auto hold. And I think they did a pretty good job with this whole kind of design. So like, for example, for four wheel drive, you push this in and then you click it over to the side and then you've got your tow haul and your ECT power. And then yeah, a bunch of blank <laughs> buttons. That's funny. Anyways, some cup holders here, center console, and you got some nice padding there. Some cup holders there for the back passengers. This is the only thing that I noticed is kind of weird. That's the glove box. I, yeah, I just figured I'd show that in the video because I thought that was interesting. You can see Tacoma there. Because the only reason I noticed it is because when you close it, it does that. Uh, and then you've got storage up above. And then just a regular mirror and then just darker colored headliner. Also, power sliding rear window. It's a nice feature. Now here's a quick look at the window sticker. Um, you guys can see a lot of standard equipment. We do have some options added to this, including the SR5 upgrade cold weather package. Anyways, 46,505 is the total MSRP on this Tacoma long bed. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors do have last one wondering. Go through the rear and let us set off in winter rain. <laughs> this is always a fun environment to film in because it's 40 degrees outside and it's raining. So it's like, you know, when it's like 70 degrees and raining, it's just like, oh, so nice. Or like even warmer, like 80 degrees and rain, raining, it's like, oh, that's so nice. But when it's 40 degrees and raining, it's uh, it's not the most pleasant experience on the planet. So as I'm setting off, I want you guys to comment down below what comparisons you want to see with the new Tacoma. Uh, I'm getting a limited, uh, I think it's a double cab with the regular bed um, sent to me Wednesday this week from Toyota. And so I'm gonna, I, I think that there's a GMC Canyon that I can compare it against. So I think I'm gonna be able to do Tacoma versus GMC Canyon. Um, you know, I'll, I'll try to do Colorado. That one's going to be harder because there's like none for sale. Um, but yeah, if there's any others, if you want me to do like new versus old, I can do that as well. Just let me know in the comment section below. But initially setting off, this feels so much like the new Tundra. It's so, it, it literally is a mini Tundra. Again, you got the new multi-link in the back and looking out over the hood, again, I just, I feel like I'm in the Tundra, just smaller packaging. It's so weird. I think that's kind of what Toyota's going for is just like small, medium, large with their vehicles, but then they're all very similar in terms of the interior styling and equipment and all of that. Not complaining, I'm just noticing that's what Toyota seems like they're doing. My quality's pretty good. Now, again, this is an SR5, so this is kind of, it's not quite a work truck, right? That'd be the SR, but it's more on that side. So I'll reserve judgment in terms of ride quality uh, until I, I, I want to. I want to see like the TRD Pro. I want to see the new TRD Pro in terms of how that rides. That that'll really determine if I like the new Tacoma suspension and everything more than the outgoing version. Because the TRD Pros are always the ones that have the best damping. But rides pretty well for what it is. And the long bed's not. Uh, I mean, this does feel. I would say bigger than the outgoing. I want. I want. I need to do a side by side comparison. But it seems as though it feels bigger than the outgoing version. At least it feels kind of like a bigger vehicle. The engine's very quiet. Uh, and this has way, way, way more low end torque compared to the previous gen. I can, I can say that without doing a side-by-side -side comparison because I'm noticing I'm barely having to get in the pedal whereas with the previous gen Tacoma, I'd really have to get into it. <laughs> This four cylinder is good. This is, uh, I like this. So this 2.4 liter, I think is great. Uh, the Ford 2.3 liter that's in the Ranger. I really like that four cylinder as well. 
I think they're, I think they're my two favorite four cylinders. Yeah, this is this is impressive. I don't know why my heated seat's on. I guess my camera needs to be warmed up. I just realized it's on the other side too. Yeah, I do. I really do think this drives well. I, I like the steering wheel feel with the new Tacoma. I think that's a, I think that's a nice thing. And it, this 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 looks cool. I've seen some people complain about uh, Toyota's new graphics because they say it already looks like dated, quote unquote dated. Here's my guess. Um, I think that Toyota is purposefully doing not so fancy graphics to make it so that it's a gauge cluster that's going to last a lot longer than other gauge clusters. If you don't know these units, I don't know how much it is on this one, but most of these center gauge clusters that are digital, they're five to ten thousand dollars to replace just for the unit, not even labor to put it in. So I, I could see that with Toyota doing that. I don't think it looks bad though. But yeah, this new Tacoma. It's got really good torque. It's impressive. This new four cylinder is that Toyota has is it's a very versatile engine because I've driven it in so many cars now. What the you know the Lexus product and several of the Toyotas, and it feels different in every single vehicle. Like just how Toyota is tuning it and everything. I mean this like I mean you do get a you do get a bit of turbo lag is what I'm noticing. So I'm gonna kind of do that again. So you guys can see, you do get a little, cause like here's down and then, yeah. So you, you do have to kind of get into it, but I mean so much better than the, like the six speed automatic and the old one and everything. This is, this is a lot better. So let me know what you guys think about the new Tacoma. I mean, I'm not gonna judge the new Tacoma just based off of one package, but I mean, so far, Drivability seems to be substantially better than the previous gen, but let me know your thoughts.